Welcome to CT Tutor. This module is called Imaging Procedures and Production Overview. This is Lesson 1. The first section of Imaging Procedures will cover patient positioning, quality image acquisition, optimal parameters, the scout image, reformatting, and reconstruction. The text is written as an introduction meant to encourage further research and study. No one source can contain everything, as CT is equal parts didactic and clinical study. And while this study guide will help you pass the registry, experience is a most effective teacher. Again, in this module, we will cover positioning, acquisition methods, parameter selection, the scout view, and protocol modifications for pathology or trauma. Positioning. Positioning in CT is an integral part of diagnostic quality and dose reduction. Use the laser lights to place your patient at isocenter. Input correct directional information, such as feet first or head first, supine or prone. Automatic exposure control and patient centering. Automatic exposure control is similar to photo timing in x-ray. Like photo timing, automatic exposure control adapts to the size of the patient. The tube current is increased for large patients or decreased for smaller patients. Center your patient, making sure the patient is straight. Align the mid-coronal plane using the laser light. And for scanners using dose modulation, accurate positioning is very important. Scout length. Use a scout scan length appropriate to patient size whenever possible. Position the patient correctly to avoid radiating sensitive areas. Excess scout length can result in unnecessary radiation exposure. The purpose of two scouts. The use of dual scouts enables the tube current to adapt to body size, assuring a more accurate exposure control. The tube current control is a function of AEC, or automatic exposure control, which uses predetermined statistics to set image quality. The patient centered too low. If the patient is positioned below isocenter, the scout will be distorted, and this influences MAS. The scanner assumes a smaller scan size, resulting in insufficient dose and poor image quality. The patient centered too high. If a patient is centered too high, causing magnification, this influences MAS as well and will result in a higher dose to the patient. The patient centered correctly. When the patient is appropriately centered in the gantry, this allows automatic exposure control to function properly and assures proper dose distribution. Scan modes. Routine scan modes in CT include axial or conventional and helical. An axial acquisition is a contiguous or overlapping slice acquired with a thickness of no greater than five millimeters. When imaging the cranial base, use slice thicknesses as thin as possible, but no greater than two millimeters. An axial acquisition can provide greater detail, less noise, and better image quality. A helical acquisition allows faster scan time to minimize motion and the speed necessary for contrast vascular studies. When imaging the cranial base, use slice thicknesses as thin as possible, but no greater than three millimeters. A helical acquisition can result in compromised image quality. The technologist must be prepared to adapt to each situation.